fell in love with uh, the community college atmosphere and I really fell in love with the concept of supporting our students in a holistic way, focusing on financial barriers. SparkPoint is a financial capability resource and support program. The big thing that I tell everyone about it is that financial barriers are one of the main reasons that students do not complete their academic goals, especially at community college. But SparkPoint really provides the type of services that you wouldn't normally find at a community college that address all of the issues going on in a student's life outside of the classroom specifically related to their money. I think one thing that left a great impression on me from SparkPoint is the importance of understanding your finances, being financially literate. So I think that was one of the, the key things that really inspired me in, in working with SparkPoint. Because after that, I sought knowledge from other sources and have gotten into programs that teach you business models, entrepreneurship, for low-income communities and communities of color. This serves as a beacon of light. Community college is often thought of as the, uh, the cheaper route to a, a higher education, and in many ways it is. But there are also other costs for a community college student that might be different for other students, um, such as maybe uh, having to limit your work hours, uh, having to pay rent, um, having to support your family. So. SparkPoint really provides food insecurity support, housing insecurity support, but the financial coaching is not just about how to afford your books. It's about how to afford your gas, uh, how to find a job, how to uh, save towards your transfer plans, how to afford your rent, uh, how to get a car that might make it easier for you to get to work and get to class and save you time so you can use that time uh, to, to move forward towards your goals. Under Chad's leadership, um, SparkPoint at Skyline College has really expanded its, its reach to the community and to its students. Under his leadership, the Dream Center opened and really became a part of SparkPoint, so really making sure that um, undocumented students um, and you know, the, really the most vulnerable students um, are included and are at the table. And I think that's sort of a theme around Chad's leadership is that he really wanted to sort of um, make sure that people are included and also take away the stigma that may be attached to to go into the food pantry, for example. And so when it's a community market, anybody can come. And when there's a spa safe space like the Dream Center, then it's more inclusive and open to others. I think the impact to the community at large is that the more students you have who can finish school and um, get the degree and the education, then you have people who can have living wage jobs, they'll stay in the Bay Area for, um, and, and it'll really impact the community at large and become a more thriving community. And so the SparkPoint Center at Skyline College is really critical to every other SparkPoint Center at a community college that has launched. And now we're working with, you know, nine, ten institutions in the Bay Area that, you know, have a SparkPoint Center or have a SparkPoint you know, satellite location. It's one of my biggest goals to have SparkPoint expand at community colleges and, and uh, institutions of higher education. Students that are receiving SparkPoint services are more likely to stay in their classes and not drop out because financial barriers are not going to hinder them to the same extent. Um, they are more likely to return in the following semesters, to have money saved uh, when they move forward in their academic goals, and to have uh, higher grades and more just general success because of the support that SparkPoint can provide to those other aspects of their life outside of the classroom.